Hi, I'm audiobook performer Jem Matson, and I believe that a good audiobook speaks volumes. The audiobook that had the greatest impact on me was one that I narrated called The Knot World by Thomas Burnett Swan. It was written in the 1970s, it was published after he died, and it called for a certain kind of narration style that I hadn't really done before, but I'd seen, something that was really intangible. I wasn't going to be just a reader. I wasn't going to be a narrator. I wasn't even going to be a voice actor. I had to be somebody who could stand in front of a bonfire and tell a story to an audience. So I looked up who Dr. Swan was, the work that he did at Florida Atlantic University, the stories that he wrote, the kind of respect that his community had for him was immense. He had a huge amount of influence among other writers and his students. So one of his students was Charles Guigna, otherwise known as Father Goose. And the quote that inspired me, that really got me to get the right voice for that book, and also has inspired a lot of other things I've done after that, and I think about it all the time, is this. Swan was my professor at Florida Atlantic University in the 1960s a brilliant and inspiring mentor, a major influence on my early writings. His eccentric nature and the unusual tone of his lectures made us all sit on the edge of our seats, hanging on his every word. He was always wide-eyed and exuberant in telling tales about H.D. and others whose work he not only admired and studied, but personally knew. We were all so impressed and wanted to be a part of that magical world of writers and imagination. He was a kind, thoughtful gentleman, but it was his voice that we remember. I can still see his expressive eyes and wild, nervous hands move like frightened birds in flight as he told stories in class, in that memorable, loud whisper that seemed to say, listen to this. I think he would be proud to know that we're still listening. I'm Jem Matson, and Sinbad L. R. E. and Alan Quatermain and Angel and Horace Hampton and Dylan and Bert the Shirt. And I believe that a good audiobook speaks volumes. Are you a listener? If so, share why you love audiobooks.